everyone, welcome along to the channel today. Today I'm out with the new Mia 6x6 10mm. So this is a new uh, pinhole camera designed by Andrea from Mia Pinholes and he has pushed it down to 10mm which gives it a field of view of 150 degrees which is I believe the same as um, a GoPro camera and the zero image 4x5 at 25mm so this is going to be insanely wide it's got f-stop of 100 I think it's about a 0 0.1 pinhole um, so I've seen, seen a few test photos of this I think he shared them on his Instagram and on his website um, and yeah I got sent one so I'm going to give it a go today I've also got the other mere 6x6 six six, I think that's 20mm uh, I'll go for that in a minute so we'll do some comparison images to see how much wider this thing is and uh, a few of the obvious design changes that have had to be put in place uh, to make this thing work so yeah I'm in the woods at the minute um, I'm not sure if it's the best for the woods today with a pinhole camera because I had a load of cloud come over and it's quite dark now but uh, there's an old church just over there as well so I'm going to have a little wander see what my exposure times are like and um, yeah, have a little play, see what we can get out of this thing. Okay so here's the 6x6 six 10mm six, and the 6x6 six 20mm six side by side. Obviously they look quite different. Very good reasons for it is because this is so wide the shutter system that was on this had to be changed. Build this up too much and it ends up um, getting in the way basically. Uh, so we'll just have a quick look inside on both. It's the 20mm and you can see how little space is there for the 10mm. Uh, we can pop this one out actually. So that's inside of the 20mm, 10mm. So it's loads wider. Um, which in itself creates uh, more problems. Um, certainly it's going to vignette more because of the uh, light drop off. You've got to take in consideration the light from there to 10mm is only that. From there to there it's probably about 25mm. So the light is certainly going to drop off a bit in this, it will vignette. Um, normally on longer exposures it's not as bad. Um, but that's something that's going to take in consideration. The shutter system, like I said, it's more built in on this. Can't work on this one because it's so wide, so it's just got a nice over the front system which works well it's all got magnets on it so that works well and the other problem that does mean is you can't fit a filter hole filter holder onto it um because of it being so wide um, it might be something that could be modified onto one in the future but for now as a test it can't be done so yeah, gonna get these loaded up i was gonna do some shots in the woods but i've found a nice little spot did a metered reading and adding the reciprocity failure, I've only got Pan F with me. Um, I was going to get 25 minute exposures, so I'm not doing that today. So I'm going to head off to the local church and hopefully get some photos there. So we'll shoot them side by side. I'll do one for this, one for that, same shot, so we can really see the difference of between both of them.
Right, so I've got my first shot set up, setting this camera up, nice and easy. It's also got a little bubble level on the knob there. Um, I'm a bit worried about how wide this is. I'm thinking it might even catch that. Um, I can't put it on the other way because I've got the other nobble. Um So I should have brought the Z plate forward, but I didn't. I've got no other option to do that. So it might catch that, so we might have a little nobble in every image. Um, unfortunately, I didn't bring any more plates along, so I've got to keep swapping these over instead of just clamping them on. So, anyway, got my first shot set up. Got a bit of nice light on this grave here, and the church is all nicely lit up at the minute. So, for this, I have got a 13 second exposure and then with that one I think I've got about a 30 second exposure because that's f-stop 100 this is f-stop basically 140 137 but, so I'll do that I'll plonk that one on get another hit poacher and then see what they look like Try putting in the same position, the 20 mil on and a 30 second exposure. Okay, so for this one, I'm just going straight onto that part of the church. I've got the camera set level, so it's kind of aiming just at the base of the church, but there's nothing really in the foreground, so um, apart from the dog, but he'll probably be gone by then. Um, but I just want to see how much it will actually capture of that. Um, this has got about a three and a half second exposure. This one, one and a half second exposure, so let's get them. The dog is posing now. Get a quick picture of him. So just found this nice little grave um, from 1903 for an 18 month year old named Bessie. Quite sad, but hopefully it makes for a nice little photo. It's a small cross, just might just be capturing the church over in the background. I think with this one will probably catch most of the church actually, I'll just be cutting off the end. Um, but yeah, try two here quickly, so I've got about a three and a half and a five second exposure I think. Set this.
So I've just come out from the church, um, heading up back into the woods actually. Uh, the sun's come out, so I'm going to find if, see if I can find some sort of lit patches for some shots. Dog's kind of had enough. He's not been out of me with the camera for a little while, and um, mine have not been a lot, out a lot of it recently. But he's um, he's struggling a little bit, bless him. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to find uh, just see if I can find a lit place, a bit of sunlight on it, and. Um, I'll just do a few with the wide angle um, and then I'm going away. I'm away for a little while actually. So I'm going to take the camera with me, do a few more images which I'll share with you at the end of the video. So I've got this one looking up a little bit of the tree. Um, I was going to go for this angle lower but it was just going to hit the tripod leg so I think I'm going to have to use my Z plate so you can kind of push it out a bit more. I use that a lot with my zero image anyway. Uh, it's great for the wide angle stuff. So, quick do four seconds. Okay everyone, so I'm going to leave that at that as uh, the cloud keeps coming over and exposure time's all over the place. Um, so anyway, what's coming up on the channel? Hopefully a lot more videos. Now, the last couple of months have been very slow as you, I'm sure you're aware. Um, lots of things in life have happened and it just happens. But it's been nice to have a bit of a break actually. It's kind of given me a chance to reevaluate a few things and... Uh, more consider which way I want to take this and just my photography in general what I want to do and uh, the direction I want to push it and um, all gear I'm hopefully going to be selling um, as I try and kind of reduce the kit I have and um, less junk really um, so hopefully more videos I've been out with the 6x12 anamorphic pinhole camera the 4x5 anamorphic pinhole camera it's got videos on that I will hopefully put together soon um, and hopefully with some of the money I get from selling some of my old lensed film cameras I can put towards some other stuff uh, have a bit more fun so uh, please subscribe and join me for that uh, leave a comment it helps with everything and um, like I said I'm away next week which by the time this video is out I would have already been away I'll get a few more photos with this and I'll share them after this so thanks everyone enjoy see you next time